In the animation, you can see that when you move the cursor, the light changes. For example, this part is more red now, and this other part is more white now. And in the interior of the helmet too, for example, this part or this other part. And when you move the control here, you can see the reflection of the character in the glass. So, to create the light effect, what you need to do is move the color of the shape. For that, you need bind the path of the shape to a bone. This way, you can move the shape, and because the color is applied to the shape, move the color, while the path is in the same position. For example, if we take a look at the glass, you can see that I use a translation constraint with the control look as a target. So, when I move the control, the shape moves, so the color moves, and the path stays in the same position because it's binding to these bonds. The same for the other part of the helmet, for example, this border. In this case, it has two paths, but you can see that these paths are binding with the same bonds, and the shape has a translation constraint. This way, you can create the light effect for the helmet. For the reflection, when you move the control here, you can see the reflection of the character in the glass and how the shadow could the face. To do this, you need the face of the character always in the same position. You can see here. And a shape like the glass that moves around, clipping the face. For that, you need to add a clipping option to the face group and use as a target this shape. And to move this shape around, you need to add a translation constraint to the group using, in this case, 70% for the strength. This way, the shape moves less than the control. And that's it for this effect. In the next video, we are going to take a look to the T-Machine to see how it works all this together.